Alrighty guys, so today I am going to be doing a video due to a request I had by a subscriber. The request was what he asked me, um, I'll find the comment exactly right here, but um, what he asked me was I did the videos on the gear sets and um, they were all they were all videos that included gears for infantry, tactical, and armored vehicle. And um, I also did a training gear one. Um, but um, what he asked me was the the trap gear. So like if, if, if he wanted to have trap gear to be wearing, like when he wanted someone to hit him and, um, and he wanted to mess him up because they didn't know he's a trap and they fell for it. So um, what I am going to do is I have collect, well, he asked me, all right, let's see, I'm pulling it up right now. He said he wants me to do the, uh, a defense gear for a trap only. So he wanted me to do this video, so I'm going to do that. Um, so I basically, I went through and I found every item that I think is the best and I added up all the totals, all the costing coin and which mods I think were the best. All right. So, um, first off the accessory I decided to do was the dismantle. The quick kit is also a good one. That's one of my favorites. Again, this is my opinion. This is what I would use. This is, this is just me. So I'm not a trap. So I, I wouldn't know as good as some of you guys. Like I, I really don't know as well, but, um, yeah, so it's going to have 17 tactical attacks, 11 tactical defense. And then it has, these are the ones that I was primarily focused on was the 10% uh, troop defense and 8% troop health. And, um, so keep in mind that when I add up the totals at the end of this video and I give you guys those totals, it's going to be as if the, there's three of these and that you're equipped with your commander with, and it's going to be three of these. And I, I'm not suggesting that you should do that. I don't, I honestly, I don't think you should do that. I think that you should mix up the accessories because you're given that option to. Plus this is a pretty pricey one. I like the, um, the quick hit too. I'll show you guys that one. This one right here, infantry attack, infantry defense, and then it has a 14% troop health bonus. I like that. It's 24 million too. That one's kind of pricey, but, um, yeah, so I like those two. Um, and again, at the end, I'll add up all the totals so you guys can get a good idea for that. Um, the, for the boots, I decided to go with the grave digger boots and, um, let me find these for you. I'll start reading the stats while I'm looking for them. 9% um, troop health, 10% tactical attack, and they're right here. 10% um, tactical attack and 18% troop defense. So you can tell these two right here, that's that's a good bonus right there. And look how cheap they are, 4.8 million coin. That's like, they're pretty much giving these away. Geez, like, I don't know. I think this is the best, far and away the best bang for your buck. But um, the combat cleats are also very close. I, I would, I don't know which one I would choose. I would probably choose the um, the Gravedigger boots just because they're so much cheaper, but the combat boots are very um, comparable. Let me find those for you. Again, when I do the total, it's gonna be for the Gravedigger boots, the ones that I chose, so. They might be back up at the top. You know what, honestly, it doesn't even really matter if I can't find them because I think the Grave Digger boots are substantially better. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, so for the body armor, I chose the Raiding Armor. It should be one of the top ones because this is one of the better armors. Raiding Armor right here. So it's got an infantry emphasis, but it's 30% infantry attack, 14% infantry defense, and 16% troop defense. I, I, I just like defense. I don't want to say that I like it that much more than troop health, but I, I do like it more than health. I, I don't know if it makes a difference, but just 
from playing the game and like trial and error, I feel like defense works better, but I think it's kind of, I don't know. I think that they're both going to save your troops. It's just a matter of um, finding a good, a good, uh, a good balance for you guys, depending on what you like better. Um, this is a pricey one, um, but I mean, what are you going to do? If you, like I said in the past videos, you want to kick ass, you got to work up the coin. For helmets, I did the Warfare helmet that is going to have 14% or 12% troop health, 12% trap attack, and 24% troop defense. I'll find it for you guys so you can get a little visual of it. Right here. You guys can check that out. 12% health. So this is basically like a trap gear, a trap gear. Like it's plain and simple. It's made for traps. Like there's no doubt about it. Um, even though you could use this when you go out fight, but it's a cheap helmet, 13.1 mil. Can't beat that. Um, all right. So um, he's got that. And then I'll do the weapon, which I chose the M14. Let's see. The M14 is going to have 12% trap attack, 24% uh, troop defense, and 36% troop load. This is why I feel like this isn't necessarily like the one that I feel like you should be always using for traps. I feel like the weapon you could really, weapon and accessories you could really like mess around with, which, um, which you guys choose. Uh, but I also like, um, this one's got trap, trap attack. 24% uh, troop defense, and this doesn't really matter for being a trap. Um, but um, the other ones that I liked were, I like the semi-auto uh, sniper rifle. That's a good one too. Or the kill weapon. Either one of those would be great, and um, those would do a good job as a trap, I feel like. Um, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the mods. Um, if it were me, I would be using a health and a defense, a de defense mod level six in every single item I have. So <clears throat> that's 25% health or 25% defense, depending on which one you use. That is a lot. That's 175% boost to each of those. That is, that's big. And that's gonna make a huge difference in saving your troops and not necessarily killing more of theirs, but more of your troops are gonna survive. You're gonna take less of a hit. So. When you get that battle report, whether they whether you're a solo trap or a rally trap, and they rally you, when you get that battle report, it's just gonna make that much bit more of a difference that you, how bad you smoked them, because the the power exchange is just gonna be ridiculous. Um, but also, so you guys can kind of mix it up. Unfortunately, if you don't know, you can't use the same type of mod in the same item. So you can't use two health mods. You have to use health, the defense, and then you have to pick one other one. The ones that I liked the best were the Guardian mod and the Patriarch mod. The Guardian mod has a 12.5% infantry defense and 12.5% troop defense. The only difference between the Guardian and the Patriarch is that the Patriarch has tactical defense instead of infantry defense. The percentage is the same, it's got the troop defense. It's just a matter of choice and you can mix those up and yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of a preference thing and you could pick one with armored um, armored vehicle defense too if you wanted to even it out do three of each and then maybe another one like a artillery um, artillery mod for trap defense or attack and um, yeah I mean again these are kind of like this video is uh, it's a loose video and I, I mean loose in like that I don't want you guys to take what I'm saying like completely you need to do this, 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 this. Like I said, there were other options that I said that you could use and you can use, if you find something better or something new comes out and you think it's better for, for being a trap, then, then use that. I think it's a great idea, but I do think you should stick with the health and defense, defense mod in every single one. In terms of coin, it is going to cost you about 120 million coin for everything level six, all seven of those items. This is if you're using three dismantles. And then again, that's a pricey one too. Um, <clears throat> that one's, uh, I think it's like 23, 25 million coin. You can find cheaper ones that are gonna be 
somewhat comparable and um, I don't know it's just about if you want to get that um, that extra little step and because uh, I think that was definitely the best one one of the best ones for the uh, trap so it's kind of on you guys to decide um, how you mix those up I, w I would probably do a dismantle and then a quick hit and then I would probably pick something else or do a second one of one of those that's what I would do like I said you don't have to do exactly what I'm saying um, yeah 120 million coin for all of those all right here comes the totals this is before mods so keep in mind mods make a really big difference so like I said it's gonna be 175 percent to 250 percent difference between what I'm saying and after you add the mods all right so this is with the three dismantles the grave digger boots the raiding armor the warfare helmet and the m14 all equipped to your commander it is going to give your commander a 45 percent health boost 112 percent troop defense boost a 24 percent track trap attack boost um, 33 percent tactical defense boost 61 percent tactical attack boost 14 percent infantry defense boost and a 30 percent infantry attack boost those are great and i know it doesn't sound like a ridiculous amount of boost but i mean being being at 550 versus 650 that 100 percent difference that is that can make or break your your trap or your attack or whatever or their attack and um so yeah and you have to factor in the all the mods and you have to factor in the commander tree boosts and you have to factor in the research tree boosts which are a lot i think it's like 92 percent of each of those close to it um but yeah guys hopefully that helps i uh I tried to get it in depth as I could and have all this information ready beforehand before I started filming. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, if you guys have any questions, please uh, comment below, reach out to me. Um, and if you think I, I was wrong or you think there was something better or, I mean, please comment below, help some people out because that's what I'm making this video for. I want to help people out and this is my attempt at trying that and um, if you guys can contribute to that or give me some constructive criticism that other people are going to see, then great. Please comment below and people are going to benefit from that. So um, yeah guys, I think that's it. Uh, 120 million coin, remember. So if you want a base coin that you're going to need, um, you can be thinking about that number for all those. Um, yeah, um, I tried to make those items somewhat, except for the accessory and the body armor. That was a pretty, that was balling on a budget. Like that, that was as cheap as I could pretty much get with that, with having like really good stats. Um, but yeah, guys, please um, hit that like button down below. Uh, I said 10 likes the last video and we busted that out real quick so let's see if we can do 20 that would be awesome if we can get 20 likes on this video i will be so stoked and appreciate it and um you guys have been great like liking all the videos and the subscribers out there i hope you guys are enjoying my videos and um if you want to see more like this please subscribe hit that button and um yeah if you guys got anything for me please comment down below all right thanks for